there are also uh, new stops being built out at, at, at Media City, um, and uh, we've, we've had a short extension to the, to the line there and added four new trams to service that extension, uh, and that will come online uh, later this year, uh, as soon as the, the, the employees actually get there. Um, a new depot is being built at, at Trafford Bar. Um, that'll be able to serve uh, the, new, the new network, obviously, uh, and it'll have full maintenance and servicing facilities there for the expanded tram fleet. The Metrolink network currently connects uh, Bury, Altrincham, and Eccles. Uh, we're building new lines to Rochdale, to Oldham, to Droylsden, and Shorten, as well as the extension I mentioned to, to Media City. And we've now got the funding in place to extend the network further to include the town centres of Rochdale and Oldham, lines to Ashton and to East Didsbury, and a new line to Manchester Airport. All of those uh, extensions uh, have the funding in place, and they're programmed to be completed by 2016. The fully expanded network will, should take five million cars off the road each year as well. And we're also seeking uh, further funding for an extension out to the Trafford Centre. The expansion of the network uh, requires a, a second city crossing, uh, and the next few slides hopefully will show you the route of that crossing. Uh, the new line starts uh, by the Manchester Central Exhibition Hall. It goes past the back of the Midlands Hotel. It'll run down Mount, Mount Street, round the two sides of Albert Square, uh, and down Cross Street and Corporation Street. And then it'll join the existing line at Victoria Station. We envisage two additional stops um, along that uh, route. Uh, we haven't yet determined precisely where those uh, two stops will go. And I think it's fair to say there's, there's quite a bit of design work needed to ensure that they are fully integrated uh, into the public realm in a way that is, is as least disruptive as possible. Um, and that second city crossing should be uh, completed by 2016. Turning to rail, uh, we've experienced uh, growth of about 45% in rail travel in the last five years, which is quite phenomenal, particularly when compared to um, other parts of, of the country. There are now 21,000 people traveling in the morning peak period uh, every day. And that's projected to increase to 29,000 by 2020. So getting additional capacity is quite critical to us. Uh, that's one of the things that we are talking to government uh, about and pushing pretty hard on to make the case for additional rail capacity. But it is much needed if we're going to continue on our growth path. Last year, we built uh, a new platform, uh, a third platform at, at Manchester Airport. Uh, we also, the year before, um, did significant improvements to Salford Central, and we're now working with Network Rail on a £50 million, pound, uh, oh, 30, sorry, million pound, yeah, <laughs> I wonder where the other 20 would come from, Howard. Um, you. Um, yeah, we're now working on a £30 million pound, uh, funding package for Victoria Station. Uh, it'll include a new roof, uh, significant improvements to passenger waiting areas. Uh, the concourse area will be improved, better retail facilities, uh, we have in our mind, obviously, uh, as the benchmark, Piccadilly Station. I'm not promising that we'll get to that, but th that's the sort of direction uh, that we'd like to take it, which would be a huge improvement compared with um, what we have today. As I mentioned, we've got £50 million uh, earmarked for improvements to other rail stations uh, across Greater Manchester, uh, and we're working on the details of that now. I should mention the, the hub study. Um, the, we've effectively got a, a, a bottleneck, if you like, in the, in the rail network, um, are in and around uh, Piccadilly and Victoria stations. Um, there was recently a study completed by Network Rail uh, to identify a solution to, to that problem. They've identified that £530 million is needed in order to provide those uh, infrastructure improvements. Uh, the benefits actually are in the order of, uh, of £4 billion. So very good value for money if there's anyone from government here. Um, it is very important that the government and Network Rail provide that funding uh, so that that work can commence. Uh, and even if they do find the funding, it won't be until 2014. But again, it's something that we need to push government very hard on. High-speed rail, uh, another announcement recently from, from government, this time uh, on high-speed rail. Uh, that will provide, uh, if, if, if again the funding is committed to it, um, and it's fair to say that um, both political, well, both the Conservative and Labour parties are very committed to, to this, which is, which is very good news. It'll link London, Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, uh, Sheffield and the East Midlands, trains travelling at 250 miles per hour and it means that uh, journey times between Manchester and London will be reduced to, to 80 minutes. 
Turning to, to bus, uh, we shouldn't forget bus. Uh, that network forms um, the core of the city public transport network, in fact, uh, with passengers forecast to grow by 20% by 2020. The free metro shuttle service that runs around the city centre um, will be extended to better serve the expansion of the city centre. Um, and we've got an, a modern fleet now of, of buses. It's flexible and accessible to the travelling public. And in fact, satisfaction with the bus network has grown quite significantly over the last 10 years with the number of people using buses uh, has grown. We've delivered new interchanges at Shudhill and Middleton, and we're building new interchanges at Rochdale uh, like this, and improving their design quality for passenger convenience. We're currently working on smart card proposals, um, and that will enable us to deliver smart card on Metrolink uh, by 2012, with the capability of extending that to rail and bus uh, later. And in addition to being able to use the equivalent of an Oyster card, uh, you'd also be able to use a chip-enabled uh, bank card. Cycling will play an increasing role uh, in access to the city centre. We're making improvements to secure cycle parking at Metrolink uh, and rail stations and working with the city on, on their strategy. And uh, putting the map back up um, just to show the cross-city bus package. Uh, the green line uh, is the cross-city bus package, which will improve connections between the north and south of the city. It will include bus lanes, uh, bus gating, junction improvements, as well as complementary uh, traffic measures on parallel routes. Uh, and then it will include improvements for cycling and improvements to the public realm and additional pedestrian crossing points. Um, these images show uh, Oxford Road, which is, of course, the seamless link to, to Jackie Potter's presentation. Um, I, I hope that uh, in this quick canter through, I've been able to give you some flavour of, of the things that we're doing. Um, a year ago, it did seem uh, quite, a, quite a long, uh, quite, quite, a, quite a difficult journey to get to this point. But I do think we've made quite significant progress. And I hope that the pictures that have shown you demonstrate that that's happening now on the ground. Thank you.